Hello and welcome back to Oblivion. Now, all right, this today we are going to uh, go to Coral and get the Gauntlets of the Crusader. However, Coral is very, very far away. So we are just gonna go there. Yes, fast traveling works again. Coral is a very pretty city as well. I like it a lot. Okie doke. Um, wait, what's my quest? Oh. Stender's mercy. My children are starving. Please help. Also, all the beggars in this game are lying assholes. to the chapel of Stendar. Hi there. Hi there. Morning. Morning. Gauntlets. Gauntlets are too heavy to move. Hey. What brings you here, buddy? Gauntlets of the Crusader bring me here. Ah, yes. The gauntlets have been here for ages. I know only the basic story behind them. But they're more of a novelty these days. My only real involvement with them these days is keeping the youngsters from hurting themselves trying to build the gauntlets up. What is your interest in them, if I may ask? I've come to retrieve them. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. They don't move, not even a bit, as if they're the heaviest things in the world. Don't you know the story behind them? I'm not, uh, familiar with all the details, but I know roughly what happened. I'd like to know their story. Yes, well, I don't know the whole thing. A great many years ago, a knight of the old earth did something terrible, and the gauntlets just fell off. They dropped to the floor right where he stood, and no one could lift them. It was a sign of the curse placed upon this night by Stendhal. That curse still lingers on today. Poor Kellen. Who is Kellen? Oh, why, he's a descendant of that very night from so long ago. The curse has affected his family all these years. He suffers from it now. He came here from Hammerfell seeking a cure, but, ah, uh, well, there's really nothing He may know more of the story than I. Perhaps you should speak with him, if he's feeling well enough. It's a horrible thing, truly. One cannot help but pity those such as Kellen, who had such a burden placed on them, through no fault of their own. But, but if it is the will of the Nine, then there is little that can be done. He's down in the chapel hall, resting. You may speak to him if you like. Alright. Goodbye. Goodbye, I'll be back. Hello, Kellen. found a cure. I know there's something he's not telling me. Tell me about your curse. Ah, so you've heard it happen. Terrible curse. Within the family almost more than anybody can remember. When I was younger, I could live with you. It wasn't so bad. But it's only gotten worse over time. I'd come here. The place it all happened in the hopes that something could be done. I 
fear I haven't much time left otherwise. The elder has let me stay mostly out of pity, I think. But there's something else. I swear he knows more than he does. I've seen plenty of pity in people's eyes over the years. I grew up recognizing it. But with Arelda, something else there. And when he speaks to me, there are times I'd swear he sounds apologetic. Guilty, even. How would that be? What reason does he have to hold back information? I know I'm a doomed man one way or the other. Speak to him if you can. Convince him to tell me what he knows as a dying man's last wish. You've seen them, I assume. The only evidence of what happened so many years ago. Do you know that I thought perhaps I could lift them? That somehow this curse would be lifted if I could pick them up? I tried for hours until my whole body ached and I could barely move. I lay there on the floor next to them, weeping. I'm not ashamed to admit that. I've been at the end of my rope for far too long to be ashamed of anything. I don't know why they're still here. They're so heavy, and I'm so weak. What does Stendhal want from me? Good day. I'll go talk to... talk to that guy for you. Yo, elf. Good. Welcome, Knight Commander. Tell me about Kellen. For real this time. I... I cannot face him. I know what might be done for him, but I haven't the will to do it. I wish I could help him. Truly I do. But I cannot muster the strength to damn myself on his behalf. What are you talking about? The curse. I know what would lift it. But I cannot do it. The only way to free Kelly of his curse is to take it on myself. I am not strong enough to do this, and so I am a failure. I fail Kelly every time I speak to him, and I fail Stender every time I pray to him and do not ask for the power to lift the curse. Do you know one who would do such a thing? One who would pray at this chapel's altar, pray to Stender for the power to lift this curse? I've told you, the only way to lift the curse from Kellen is to pray to Stender for the power to free him. But that means taking the curse on yourself. You'll be marked for life, as will all your children and your children's children. The goblets have been here far long. They'll almost certainly be here long after we're Okay. Bye. So this is why I wanted to do this one last. Because the curse is very annoying. Oh, uh, lay hands. The curse is incredibly irritating. However, the curse is lifted entirely once Knights of the Nine is over, which is actually uh, very close now. What is it? Lifted the curse from Kellen, which means taking it on myself. As a result, I am weary and my fatigue has been affected. With the curse lifted, I can now retrieve the gauntlets of the Crusader. You? How did you? I feel good. I feel good. I don't feel like death. I feel like running. Alright, go and run, you silly boy. Having fun? I can't believe it. I feel normal. Thank you so much. You have no idea what this means to me. I finally have a chance to get out and see the world. I'm not wasting another second of my life. And I'm forever indebted to you, friend. Farewell. 
Let's go taunt that that weak priest. See, look, my fatigue goes down as I run now, which is incredibly irritating. Good day. You, you lifted the curse? Yep. But that means that now you've cursed yourself. Why would you do such a thing? Because I want to finish the quest. Be seeing you. I'll take these. Alright. Back to the Priory of the Nine. And I don't actually feel like walking there. So we're gonna fast travel there instead. Cause that is way the fuck down here. pouring down rain, and there are horses everywhere. looking for. He said that Sir Barrett's tomb was an underpaw cave, which is no cave, but some kind of buried keep. He had learned that Sir Barrett had once been a questing knight, like us. He had found the greaves and sword of the crusader, but then turned to evil. Sir Roderick hoped to find the relics within Sir Barrett's tomb, and he did. But we also found a terrible guardian, the wraith of Lord Vlindral, Sir Beric. You know where the relics are? Yes, my lady. And I brought you. Sir Roderick shouted for me to take them. The Greaves. The Holy Relic. They're yours. And the sword. What happened to it? The wraith. It used it against Sir Roderick. I don't know how that evil thing could use the Holy Weapon, but it did. It screamed as it struck. Take it easy, you're safe now. I'm sorry. I remember Sir Roderick saying something about the sword before we went to Underpole. It may be important. He was worried that the sword may have been turned to evil, that it may have to be reconsecrated on the altar of its creator, the Divine Arche. That's all I remember. I hope it may help you. You did well, Lathan. Thank you, Sir Knight. I would ask a boon if I could, although I know I do not deserve it. Would you make me a Knight of the Nine? I want to dedicate myself to ridding the world of evil. I owe it to Sir Roderick. Rise, Sir Lathan. Thank you. I mean, thank you, Sir Knight. I will not fail you. Give me a moment to arm myself and I will accompany you to Underpaw Cave to destroy the foul wraith. Excellent. Hey. Well, Master, sir. You're already I'm all decked out. Oh, shit, and things have happened. Uh-huh. I want to knight everybody. Hold on we meet again. I am here to join your order. Having received a divine vision from Kinnereth herself, I have been shown that to protect all Kinnereth's creations, I must take up your cause and be willing to lay down my life for you. So here I am. I have no doubt that our good works will be talked of in the eras to come. 
I accept. Welcome to the Order. Thank you. I shall serve the Order to the best of my ability. I must change into something that suits a knight. Please excuse me. Why did she have a Is that so? torch out? What's the news from the other parts of Tabriel? There are rumors that the Nords are attempting to capture the whole... Hail, Sir Knight. My brother and I have heard that you are founding a holy order of knights, and we would like to offer you our swords. We've come all the way from Skyrim to join up. We can't claim any experience as knights, but we'll learn soldiering from our years in the Legion. Will you have us? I accept. Welcome to the Order. You won't regret it, sir. You'll find us true-hearted and brave. I'll be back as soon as I've outfitted myself. Well met, Sir Knight. Oh, and Sir Thedrit's here. How's it going? Okay, we need to find Lathon. I don't know where he's at. Whoa, what was that? That was like a fiery whoosh. Hail, Commander. Hail, Commander. Looks good. It does. It really looks good in here. Where's my weight at? Uh, I won't be able to loot a whole lot. Um, I need to get into the thieves guild so that I can use fences. been to Bruma yet in this playthrough either. I'm gonna find an inn then. There's an inn. Hi there. How goes it? How goes it? Welcome to Bruma, stranger. Hafid Hollowleg. I'm your host at Cheryl View. Bed, food, whatever you need. How much are your beds? There's a most comfortable 25 bench. gold a night? No. Oh. Farewell. Jesus Christ. I'm not paying 25 gold. How goes it? Oh, that took me full circle. Greetings to you. What about here? I guess I'm not getting a bed for free.
How goes it? What? I understand the Fighters Guild is hiring new members. Not bad work for some folks. How about that? Oh, shit. Maybe I can sleep in the chapel. is backwards. Alright, let's sleep for eight hours. Actually, let's sleep for ten hours because eight hours would be, would be fine if we were traveling in the morning, but we're not. We have to go to a store which has to be open. cleared it. Still there? Yeah, you are. Did you leave this spot? What, really? I'm Suratan, proud owner of Nova Roma, a little piece of Heartland Empire here in the lofty gels. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure.
There you are. I am at your... Follow me. Of course. Oh, come on. myself and then I'll fast travel so that he'll uh he'll make it with me. traveling in the mountains. Just, there's a lot of climbing involved. My fatigue is just gone because of this goddamn curse. <gasps> Fuck, you got really close. Under Paul Cave on my map? Looks like it might be. In a cave, the, lo the location of Lord Vrin Blindrill's grave. Sir Roderick died somewhere inside, battling the foul wraith that now wields the sword of the Crusader. Alright, now we fast travel there to get uh, Lathon there as well. Which will take an hour, ironically, even though I'm right here. And it started to rain. Oh, there he is.
paper. needs to make up her mind. Is it going to be gloomy and rainy and too dark for me to see my keyboard? Or is it going to be bright and sunny and creating a horrible screen glare? Can't quite decide what it wants today. was supposed to fall. <laughs> Shit. I almost hit you. Don't run in front of me. That's why I hate having companions. in the fire. They're burning bones. Yes, Commander. Oh. Gross. He's laying right here. sword's gonna weigh more than that. So you can have... Your iron boots back. Oh, shit! I've never looted this before. Oh my god, there's so much cool shit in here! I have no carry weight left. Man, that's disappointing. Hello, Wraith.
This is getting ridiculous. Okay, so we are going to, um, some potions. Can I, uh... Got it. The rate, the wraith of Lord Vlindril is destroyed, and I now need to reclaim the sword of the Crusader that he has somehow twisted to his evil purpose. And Lathan is alive. I'm over encumbered. I'm over encumbered. How? I shouldn't have drunk that. Uh. Really? Cover the sword of the crusader. Take it to the chapel of Arcade and Shade and Hall to reconsecrate it for its holy purpose. Sir Roderick is avenged, and you have recovered the sword of the Crusader. I'll return to the Priory and give my fellow knights the good news. Farewell. Bye. Are you kidding me? Okay, fine. Take your ectoplasm back. I didn't want it anyway. Achoo, excuse me. Achoo, excuse me. Sorry, dude. I'm like gonna beat you out of here. I'm fairly certain that some rocks are supposed to fall there. And by fairly certain, I mean I'm 100% certain. But hooray, we get to go to my favorite place. My favorite city in the game. In any game, really. You get to go to Chayton Hall. Let's go to Chayton Hall. Took us a long time to get to Chaden Hall. I fucking love this city. Look at how pretty it is. Is this place still open? Yes, my favorite store. Love this lady. Orba Grauzgash. We've got everything the adventurer needs. I'm an old adventurer myself, and I know what's wanted. Let's do business. She doesn't really like me all that much yet, though. An excellent bargain. A good price for a good customer. I like worth talking to you. I like orc eyes. What's this about? 
I spent a lot of time in Shade and All, and I love everything about it. And I will spend a lot of time in Shade and All. All my favorite NPCs live here. Oh, son of a bitch. Whoa! Son of a bitch. Umriel's Aurorans have been destroyed. Ch uh, Chadenal Chapel is safe for now. I can now reconsecrate the Sword of the Crusader to RK on the High Altar. Sorry How about you setting you on fire. Sword of the Crusader has been reconsecrated. I now possess all eight of the Crusader's relics. I should return to the Priory to consult with my knights about how to, d to attack and destroy Umriel. Alright. We're gonna call it there. Uh. Oh my god. Everyone's dead. Actually, before we call it, I'm gonna look at this guy. Okay, now we're gonna call it there for tonight. And next time, we're gonna go back to the Priory and we're gonna talk about how to finally destroy Umaril and finish this quest line. Alright, I've been Shadow. Don't forget to like and comment if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time.